Bulldogs, you know the deal. Welcome to BCTV, and we are your anchors today. And today is Friday the 13th. Ooh, spooky. Literally spooky. <laughs> we hope your day is full of good luck, though, guys. We have we have just finished an outstanding anti-bullying assembly. I hope you guys catch your eyes peeled and learn some pointers, because it is essential to be nice to everybody, because there's no point in being mean. No point in well, being mean. anyways, uh, let's get started. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back. Welcome back, Bulldogs. Here are some of the top news stories going on. All Centennial students are now required You heard to that wear. right. Required. Yep. You're <laughs> required to wear your lanyards. Please wear them. If caught without them, you will be sent to the dean's office. Sheesh! And you'll be issued a new one for $4. Which is crucial, Bulldogs. Every time, $4. Well... It'll be added to your stu student fines. We are required to wear these for safety reasons, of course. If a non-student is on campus, we'll be able to find them quicker. You heard that right, Bulldogs. So wear your lanyards or it will be crucial for you. Seniors get to wear the white lanyards. You know, class of 2020 gets the best lanyards. Early so out. embrace your new lanyards, Bulldog, and make sure to wear them. In other news, President Trump slams the Taliban. The Raiders win their first game of the season. Okay. And Hurricane Dorian completely devastated the Bahamas. Sadly, that is really crucial. That is sad. Uh huh. I hope they're all okay. I really do. So much is going on in our everyday. Uh, so much is going on every day in our world. It is important to always stay safe and positive. Yeah, and keep it moving, Bulldogs. <laughs> Let's go to our sports guys, who are always positive and funny. And Ooh. awkward. Kind of weird. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we love you guys. You know, they just don't have it. It's your risk for deception. Learn how to bend. Your worst inhibitions then will psych you out in the end. Hey, I'm Matt. Hey, I'm Noah. And, and this, this is BCTV BC Sports. Sports. Football plays basic high school today at basic. It's going to be a show. Be sure that you're there. The girls' soccer team look to make a slam dunk against El Dorado tomorrow at 3 o'clock, here at Centennial. Expecting our athlete spot like Kaya Taylor to do great as always in the game. We had a word with Kaya on the soccer team, and she is our athlete spotlight. We're here with Kaya Taylor of the women's soccer team. So Kaya, tell us a little, a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your team. Well, I'm a center back for our team, and I'm an absolute beast. So, Alright, so Kaya, there was a loss and everyone was freaking out, but you guys already came back with another victory. Are you looking forward to the season? Yes, I am. We lost to Desert Oasis 2-0 and then came back and beat Coronado 2-0. So we're already back on track where we want to be, so we got a lot to work on and we're going to do well this season. So now, captains versus captains. Will you take Paris and Chloe, or are you and Quincy? Well, I gotta go with me and Quincy, because, you know, our team. So what is it about Quincy that, that makes her so good? Oh, she's very fast, and she's just beautiful, so gotta love her. Thank you so much, Kaya. Thank Anytime. you, Kaya. Kaya Taylor, everybody. Girls Volleyball plays Cimarron Tuesday at home. Be there or be square. Cross Country hopes to touch down at Faith Lutheran in one of their latter meets of the season. It's always a pleasure hosting BCTV Sports for all of our fans in class and at home. Till next time, BCTV. Signing off. Nice work, gentlemen. Good job. Good <laughs> luck this weekend, Bulldogs. Now you see them, felt them, and maybe even tasted them. Ew, disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> Here's a story on the grasshopper invasion. Scientists say the invasions only happened a few times over the past 30 years. 
and the grasshoppers pose more of a nuisance. Hi, my name is Cooper. Today we're going to be looking at kids' opinions on the grasshoppers. I don't like the grasshoppers because they're disgusting and they jump on my forehead. Okay. Uh, my thoughts on the grasshoppers are they're annoying and that's about it. I think they're annoying. So I think the grasshoppers are annoying and they are like a nuisance. So yeah. How do you feel about the new grasshoppers? Um, they're just really annoying and never I go they're like everywhere and there is like to be my face or something. What about your sister? Yeah, they attack her too. So <laughs> Until next time, Bulldogs. <laughs> Those nasty grasshoppers, they're taking over. They need to go. Grasshoppers are everywhere. They're going to take over, guys. Little do you know. And so are the NJROTC kids. Let's go to Farbad for a look at NJROTC. I'll see you, Farbad. <laughs> Wake up, Farbad. We got to record. My life be like. Ooh, uh, yeah. My life be like. Oh, oh yeah, we're going to the JROTC room. Let's go. Hey, what do you do here in JROTC? Well, my name is Dean Sayre. I'm a new uh, instructor here at uh, Centennial High School. Um, and our job is not, is not made uh, to have the students join the military. Our job is to make them better citizens. We, right. want, we want to make sure that they do good things. A lot of opportunity, a lot of scholarship opportunity. Uh, we do resume uh, training and writing. The commander does a, a lot of resumes for the students. We help people develop uh, into better people. Wow. We help the kids develop, uh, develop into better people. All right, yes. well, thank you. All righty, thank you, sir. 100. Man, JRTC has me woke. All right, well, check back next week, guys. Thanks for watching. That looks fun. It does. It looks great. Speaking of fun, we no longer have deans at our school. Honestly, that's really sad and that's a bad idea. <laughs> that's a bad joke. But we hit the quad to see what you guys think about no more deans. Yeah, see what you guys think about that, Bulldogs. With my baby, yeah. All the bad things disappear. you making me feel maybe I... And why? I'm pretty sure they got fired or transferred. And I think it's because they're unnecessary. <laughs> yes, um, our deans have left to go to other schools to be hall monitors. The district doesn't have enough money, so they cut their position. Okay. Uh, we didn't. <laughs> um, because sometimes deans can feel like they're annoying and always want to like start stuff, but like they're really here to just help us and make sure that our school can flow better. I think just to uh, handle kids like Cooper can't behave. Maybe a little. I don't really think so though. Um, I feel like it'll be more fights that happen now because it's not more like uh, security. But yeah. I don't think it's gonna be different at all. Probably not because there's still consequences for stuff they do. Yes, I do because I feel like people feel like if they fight, then there's nobody else to really stop them from doing what they want to do. I don't think so because they're still like the principals and stuff and like teachers, so I don't think that's going to affect anything. We will miss the deans truly, and they really did a lot for our school. So we might not have any deans in the house, but have you heard of Corey in the house? No, oh, I have. He's pretty awesome. From our childhood, if you don't know, you're too young. <laughs> Here is Jared with the video game review. <laughs> Corey in the House for the Nintendo DS is one of the greatest games of all time. That's putting it lightly. Now, Corey in the House for the Nintendo DS has astounding visuals, simply breathtaking characters, and groundbreaking story. With a tightly knit story like this, there's no way you could go wrong. Now, Metacritic rates it a 9.6 out of 10. Just look at these reviews. You can tell these people really care about this game. Do you like quality gaming? Then look no further. Cory in the House is pure quality. I'm your man. 
That game looks like so much fun. Yeah, and it brings it back to my childhood. I loved Corey in the house when I was a kid. <laughs> well, we have come to an end of our show. Sadly. We hope you have... Oh, wait. We hope you were informed and entertained. We are BCTV, and we hope you are going to have a great weekend, and we'll catch you later, Bulldogs. Have a sensational day. <laughs>